Guys, hello and welcome to Scott Kirscher Daily number 67. Uh, we have already done a stream today, but this is our second stream. Uh, and we are, slash have been working on the operator menu. And have specifically been working on resetting uh, different stats and scores and bookkeeping. We have already built uh, the mechanism to do the reset. Um, but we have to make sure the confirmation is occurring on the operator menu. So we're currently working on that. And if we get that finished, we're going to head over to um, fix a small bug that we have seen on level two and um, turn off attract mode and um, also make sure we have updated our branch and create a build for other people um, who are testing the game right now. So that's what I got on the docket for right now and uh, hopefully we can get all these things done. I don't anticipate this operator menu taking too much longer but uh, then again I've said that the last three streams or so. So um, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go silent unless anybody has any questions I'm happy to talk. So thanks guys.
Hey, how's it going, Liam Does Gaming? How long uh, were you here? I've only been here for uh, five minutes. So not that long. I'm just working through where I uh, ended at the end of the last stream, which is um, simply making sure the operator menu behaves as expected. Sweet dude, tell me about it. Uh, and I, I don't know if you heard this last stream, but um, I always encourage developers to share their projects and uh, graphics or links or websites related to the game. So share what you got, man. Tell me about it. Tell me what it is. Platforming tower defense. That sounds interesting. Got, uh, is it in any, um, has it been released on any platforms yet? Thanks, Dwayne. Dwayne TV. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. That's, uh, he just pasted what I asked.
Blue defense, sweet. Posted 18 days ago. What do you mean, Dwayne TV? Is that the um, the game was posted 18 days ago? Is that what you're saying? about his game yeah okay cool legit just uploaded the full project sweet that's tight man so are you gonna put it on uh, Steam then Try nice. Uh, where's the link? Uh, if previous DS map is equal to let's change this. If um, current DS map equal to utilities DM and we're switching then we set utilities counter to zero and utilities ready to false Game joke, got it, got it, got it. Sweet, dude. Huh. Huh. It doesn't want to go back. Problem, obviously. Having a problem getting out of there, so we'll just fix that. So we're here on current DS map. Having a problem on. gotten out of there. Based on this, if confirm no. Drift helper and button. It's like the pre it went back to the previous DS map which it somehow thought was the um, confirmed 
auto score, you know, reset. Let me look at this game for a second. Nice, man. That's awesome, dude. Screenshots outdated. Prefer keeping future games you create off Steam. Don't have to deal with the business. And you get full profit. Yeah. The business BS. You get full profit. I'll help me fund the next project and pay my team. <laughs> they might be angry if I die paychecks. Uh, I want full profit so I can become a walrus. <laughs> Antarctica. Denied. I already cut off my arms learn to slide like one. <laughs> oh, really? Nice, nice. Okay. Why don't we save this? It's previous DS map. Let's see if, because it feels like that's what blocked it. Let's try this again. Not a big troll here though. Maybe once in a while, but not much. Thanks for your feedback. Yeah, dude. Um, the game looks the game looks good though, man. Um, why did you choose Game Jolt, and how long did it take to develop it? Compared to Octbot, I can do way more here with Octbot than Nightbot. Used to have it. Biggest and best difference is uh, loyalty um, incentives. Nightbot doesn't do it, and loyalty incentives is exactly what the Beastly Bro just said. Loyalty is related to rank or whatever else you want to call it. I call it rank. Huh, DS maps or DS list. So DS list and DS maps are really tight. Um, I did not code Onkbot myself, uh, but it's badass though. Oh, I um, I think the guys over, I think the guys in Europe who coded it. So he did a really good job with it. I literally looked at at least five bots in great detail, and it seemed to be the best one. Don't do song requests, um, mainly because, I, I mean, I could add those in there, but I think the main reason is you have to be careful with song requests, um, mainly because you can get blocked on um, the DMCA stuff. Uh, basically, they can bl automatically block your audio where they think you've violated a particular song request, uh, so you have to be careful which, with which songs you choose. Um, and there are some songs out there that allow you to do that. And the best place I've found to get those songs is on YouTube, but um, I don't know a lot of other options for song requests. That's cool, uh, Dwayne. You tried coding one on uh, IRC. Tight. For Twitch? Are you saying for Twitch? So what I was saying though, uh, Liam Gaming, uh, was how how long had you been working on uh, Moon Defense? Uh, 
Uh, so my rank is always Sky Cursor Dev because I set it up like that. So, um, I can't remember exactly what it would be. 3,884 minutes. Let's go see what that would be. Uh, I can't remember the command to pull up the um, rank system. I think it's... There it is. Rank system. 3,884. Let's see what that would be. That would be... This guy right here. That rank would be... Cadet First Class Cadet Captain. So you're looking at making this an arcade game. I would like to know how to do this, but is there anywhere I could possibly long? Could possibly long. I'm confused by that. Um, yeah, this is going to be an arcade game. We've already got it on an arcade cabinet, which you can see right here. Let me pull it up. You can see a lot of our artwork right here. That some of the some of our artwork that's not even in the game yet is there. Um, let me see if I can find the arcade cabinet. The prototype that we have now, we've already got like a second one that we've been working on. Let's see if I can copy this. Get this thing. Two of them were major arcade conventions. I don't have Xbox One Soul Ghost if, if you're talking directly to me. Uh, so, we are uh, basically um, using Game Maker to export to Linux and using a binary executable to run the game on Linux. And um, building the board into the cabinet that's going to handle basically the files and everything else to JAMA compatibility. The JAMA compatibility basically controls um, controls the joystick and the buttons and then it's also connected uh, correctly to an old uh, CRT monitor. Um, I don't remember the exact how that exactly works here. I'm trying to read here because I, I think I've got it down here. Uh, we've got Sanwa buttons, Sanwa joysticks, a Dynamo cabinet, 27-inch monitor, a JAMA harness, the JAMAs, the joystick, um, and button connectors. Um, and I think our motherboard has changed uh, different a little bit than what I have listed in the hardware section below the stream. NDDB. That's good. Let's see. I'm not sure, man. I'm not. I'm not familiar with NDDB. This is good. Oh yeah, that's good, dude. Definitely put it there, bro. Not sure how that community works, but those are two good places: Game Jolt and NDDB. Love it. Oh, the conventions were great, man. We got a really good feedback. not an understatement okay and, w and when we took it to those conventions we literally only had one level done up to that point 
and we've even modified that level a lot now so it has even a lot more functionality now than it did then so it was really good back then all right looks like this is working i got into here i've got everything popping back here on the no okay i do need to change the message based on what the user has selected obviously the same message is, is appearing Ooh, that doesn't do a confirm i'm surprised about that Clear play counts. I think I have to. Copy this guy. Try that. <laughs> that's awesome dude yeah I understand we will we are trying to get it to a good state before uh, July 26 we've got a deadline with a client who is picking up a cab so for their arcade so we're talking literally almost two weeks from now Perfect, got that one. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna do this one out right. Should I change the messaging now? Oh, let's just see if this works. Send me back, okay, it says it, it did it. Let's return. Let's go to game adjustments. Ooh, I'm not seeing anything updated. That doesn't mean the INI file wasn't updated. Um, I think what that means is that I have to, um, I think the INI file updated will verify and confirm that. I think what we're gonna have to do here is make sure we update the DS maps. So DS map replaces on all these options with whatever the value is that we put in right here. We all do, mate. Uh, when to wear the next convention? That's the best question. I also want to know. Um, good question. I'm not sure. I know we've got this July 26th deadline top of mind. And after that, I think we might be, uh, we, we have probably a couple more things to tighten up, <coughs> tighten up even after the, the delivery of the cab. But um, I think, uh, I think at that point, once we tighten those things up, we'll be looking for more arcade conventions to get this out there. Um, so I will let you guys know and I'll post them as soon as I find them. Um, find out about them so all right I wanted to check that file to make sure it got updated as I expected it to because if it did all we have to do is update the DS maps Okay, here we go. Looks like, yes, that did update properly. Um, zeros across the board. Total plays did not update, surprisingly. I guess I have to update total plays in both places. <laughs> Only four of us, yep. Soon the world will know. All right. Guess I have to update this guy for sure. It's like he's updated separately. So I was partially incorrect about that other one. 
and that also means that I could go ahead and clear those stats there, but I don't think I want to do that. So when I clear play counts here, I'm also going to have to clear it on audits. Okay, and then on this one, I'm going to have to also clear play counts here. sure that that got updated properly in get game defaults so audits menu has this yeah OP total plays val and I think I could probably even make sure these are updated now with the defaults three D printed turtle sorry bro Sir, yes sir. Alright. Bookkeeping, page credits, we're just going to pull the default value. So we're going to make sure, again, that I'm not putting these in more than one place. The idea is that I don't maintain these values in both places. Because if I have them as actual numbers here, I have to maintain them in both places instead of just reference them. So I'm trying to make sure that I update these accordingly right here. Coins value right here. Hours of play, we're looking at the audits menu, so we go up. Down, down, down. Hours of play right here. Hours of play of game time right here. Game start. Keeping items. Game started. Games continued. This also makes me want to check my I and I vowels to make sure that this guy was set up properly. Guys, you've been two places. It would be totally place power. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. It's fine right now, but if I ever change these, they're going to be 